Hey guys, today I'm bringing you a simple everyday makeup look for glasses. It's really bright and pretty and springy and I hope you enjoy it. So here I'm using Infallible Total Coverage by L'Oreal. I sprawl on the Beauty Lender, but this is not a Beauty Lender. It's Real Techniques because it's cheaper and honestly the same thing. And I just use a damp Beauty Lender to really buff it into my skin and here you see me just doing that. Now I'm going to go in with Maracuja Creaseless Concealer by Tarte. I love this concealer. It is so heavy duty. So a little with this goes a really long way. And I pat it. Any problem areas? My chin is like my biggest problem area. And again, I'm using that same beauty blender to fully blend out my concealer and again it is damp. I love using damp beauty blenders. I think they work a lot better. And then here you see me brightening up my face just using a brighter concealer. I just like the way it looks especially under my glasses and I'm just going to continue to buff that out. Here I'm just going to bake a little bit just to keep in that concealer set in all day under the glasses again. I use the Urban Decay eyeshadow in Faint, and honestly, I just like this, and I've had it for so long that I didn't feel the need to buy a new one. So here you see me talking, and I kept in a longer clip of my brows only because I think they really define the face, especially with glasses because they already frame the face, so you really need to focus on the brows and define them. So I'm just really focusing on this one, and... I like a more natural look, but definitely I go a little darker with the brows when I'm wearing my glasses. So I'm going to go in and just lightly blend out the bake that we did. Here I'm using Too Faced Chocolate Soleil, and this is my absolute favorite bronzer. I've been using it for Go on with this brush because I don't really need it too, too precise because this is really an everyday more look for your glasses. And I just contour. And here I'm just buffing it into my skin. I like to do the typical contour and then I also like to do my forehead and a little bit under my neck. Just to really define the face and give it a sculpted look. I do things all over the place, but that's just how I like to do my makeup. Now I'm going to go in with Painterly to prime my eyeballs and this is just my favorite. Renaissance Ramire on the lid, Blonde Fresco, and a mixture with that and Warm Taupe all over the crease. I'm going to take Blonde Fresco because that's going to be the crease color and just mix that with Warm Taupe. And then I'm going to focus that in the crease first just because that's the way I like to do it and it gives it more of a defined look. I really love this color because like I said I have green eyes so I really think it helps it pop with the undertones of purple. And I don't know, I just, I'm really, really loving this palette lately, and I think it's perfect for the transition from winter to spring. Then I'm going to take Vermeer on a fluffy brush and just put that all over the lid to brighten up the whole look. You want your eyes to be light when you're wearing glasses, because if you make them too dark, then it's really going to take away. From your face and it just doesn't look right so I just like light and bright just a flat brush and highlight a little bit with tempura and it's just any light highlighting color that you like you can use it really doesn't matter but I'm just using it because I'm using this palette so I'm just gonna So we're going to go in with Crave in the Naked Basics palette, but honestly you could use any matte darker eyeshadow. If you have lighter eyes and lighter complexion, I would, wouldn't do a black, but I just like the black. Okay, so I just take that on an angled brush and I'm going to use that as a liner. Harsh liner looks with glasses, that's just my personal preference, but I like this way because it does make your eyelashes look fuller and um, it's going to give you dimension. So I'm just going to go in and do that. Here I'm just lining my eye. I really, really like the way this looks because I think it definitely defines the eye 
but at the same time it's not super harsh and it's actually easier to blend out. So I'm just really loving this look lately, but I change my mind all the time. This is my favorite mascara. I've used this for months and months, probably up to years now, and it's just my absolute favorite. So. Because this is a little bit of a lighter springy look, I'm going to use a Tarte blush in Blissful. It is the 12 hour Amazonian. As my highlight today, I'm going to use Mineralized Skin Finish by MAC in Soft and Gentle. And this is just a tried and true. This I've been using this for years and I just highlight excessively, especially with glasses. I just highlight on my cheekbones. Honestly, I'm obsessed with highlighting, so. And I think it helps with the glasses, so highlight away. Highlight your heart away. Cupid's bow, nose, people don't like the nose, I do. Little bit on the forehead. Honestly, everywhere. Just highlight your whole freaking face. Love it. Okay. We're gonna go in with Kylie's Coco K. And first I'm gonna line and then use the lip. Max Fix Plus because I just got this and I'm obsessed and it <laughs> and it really makes your face set in place while I don't know just it's awesome I love it get it any setting spray just set your face like Jeffree Star I'm gonna So here is the finished look with my glasses on. I think it's really, really pretty, really simple, and anyone could do it for the springtime or really any day. So if you like the video, please like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.